hypertrophy just theoretically could occur in the absence of additional incremental strength gain. It's hard to separate that one from specificity, but you could train other ways, get the same growth and not have the same strength adaptation. So I don't know how you prove that one through study design. It's, it's nearly impossible. That's just a function of how you train and, and the functional adaptation you get along with how you trained, right? So that one's tough, but again, it, you could design five other arms that are, you, you could manipulate it to get growth and no strength, a lot of strength, no growth, the same strength uh, with less growth. Like I, I think you could design it to show whatever you wanted to show. And again, the thing that remains to be demonstrated is that a group that has growth gets more strength than a group that doesn't over eight to 12 weeks. And I think the reason that nobody seems to be able to produce that data is because you just can't. And that's why I think, again, I, and I know this is, I keep saying this, and it's so, it's so impossible to do. We, we need six-month studies. We need 12-month studies. And maybe we can find the point at which you can no longer get stronger unless you have growth.